Hi guys, welcome to French Fluent. So today we're going to be seeing chapter 7, okay? And this was requested, so obviously, and I had actually left this in between, right? So I was telling you that I'll be doing it from uh, doing the chapters that I've left in between. So here I am with chapter 7, and I'll be doing the grammar topics also very soon. So uh, before that, I wanted to tell something about my channel, okay? So there is this glitch, I don't know what it is. Uh, whenever I upload a video, uh, the comment section gets automatically turned off. Like even though I en enable it while uploading the video, like randomly two, th two or three times, it just gets disabled. And I have to keep going to the YouTube studio and, uh, you know, enable it again. So I don't know why this is happening. And uh, I, like, I, it's not that I want my comment sections to be off in certain videos. It's just that it randomly happens from YouTube side. So I don't know what to do about it. But yeah, if in case you see my YouTube comment section is closed, it's not me. And uh, I never want my comments to be like, I don't want them to be disabled whatsoever. So yeah, that was it. And uh, even if it's like disabled, you guys make sure that you comment, okay? Like afterwards when I enable it back, okay? Anyways, that was what I was I wanted to say for a very long time. Uh, so finally, I got the chance to say it now. Anyways, so chapter 7, it's a very, very interesting chapter because here there's nothing. It's just food, okay? Food, food, food. So all the foodies will enjoy this chapter. All the foodies will enjoy this chapter. And uh, we are going to see a different kind of cuisine, okay? So we are all Indians and uh, South Indians eat. Okay, I don't want to be stereotypical. But yeah, we have our own uh, sorts of comfort foods, right? But they have uh, a wide variety of foods and we're going to learn them. So it's going to be very easy, okay? So bon appétit. Uh, bon appétit is, uh, it's like a thing you say before <laughs> having food, right? Uh, have a good appetite, have a, a fine dining. It's like that. So bon appétit. Even in English, they say, like, if you go to some fancy restaurants, the uh, so, uh, the waiters and all, or, uh, like, the person who serves the food and all will say this after serving the food, which is, it's, like, heard often. Just like how you say bon voyage to uh, someone who flies, uh, this is said commonly, okay? So, I'm sure you know about that. And remember, write it with the accent and everything. Okay, now let's get started. La France est très connue pour la cuisine. Le vin et le fromage. Okay? So, la France. France est très connue. Connue means uh, très connue. Now, connue is actually conjugated in a different tense. And uh, connue comes from the verb connaître. Okay? It is conjugated in a different tense. And that is connaître. So, connaître means to know. Okay, so they're saying France is known for, is very much known for, pour means for, right? For la cuisine. La cuisine means it's cuisine. It's French cuisine. Uh, le vin et le fromage. Le vin is wine and fromage is cheese. Okay, so a most famous food item in, Fr in France is cheese, guys. Like Everywhere, like uh, even if you go for having some tea or something, along with that, they will give it like um, in a plate, they'll give some cheese also. It's like a tradition. They eat cheese with everything. Okay. And every time after every meal, at least one time they have cheese. Okay. So that is like that. And uh, okay. And th that's about the cheese. Il y a plus de trois uh, Okay, 300, 300 sort de fromage en France. Il y a pluie. There are pluie de. Pluie de means more than. Okay, more than 300 sorts de means of. So, sorts of fromage en France. There are more than 300 sorts of cheeses in France. Okay, Roquefort, uh, Camembert. If you have ever gone to this shop called Carrefour, you will know about it. I don't know if there's Carrefour in India, but when I was there, Carrefour is there. You get all sorts of cheese. And cheese, something very interesting about cheese is that, uh, how is cheese made? All that you will learn in 12th grade biology, but uh, 
cheese is actually made from bacteria okay so usually when something has bacteria on it or something has a microorganism grown on it they will say they'll consider it as spoiled right but when cheese gets uh, bacteria on it that bacteria on uh, which is growing on it is actually a good bacteria and that is the one which is giving taste to that cheese okay so more the bacteria more the taste will be of that cheese so that's why like you can cheese will never get rotten over there like more the uh, more ugly it the more ugly it looks the more uh, microorganisms growing on it the more uh, tasty it is it is like that okay so that doesn't mean any microorganism will grow on that obviously fungus and all wouldn't grow on that there are certain kinds of bacteria which grow on that so those kind of bacteria you will know learn the names and that's not required so those kind of bacteria naturally grow and they are bound to make the cheese taste well okay so that was about the cheese and uh, yeah so let's see by the way if you're wondering what i've drawn here it's actually different kinds of food items this is cheese okay so don't make fun of anything before you see anything okay anyways so how many types of cheeses are there more than 300 types okay more than 300 types of cheeses habitual more habitual more means usually okay usually le français prenne trois repas par jour usually the french prenne prenne comes from the verb prendre and prendre means to take so the french take okay they usually take trois trois is three repa repa means meals okay meals par jour par means uh, per okay and jour okay jour is day so the french people take three meals per day we also take three meals and sometimes four also right like uh, snacks also is a uh, favorite uh, meal for us like mostly you know like between uh, mid meal snacks also people have like in between lunch and dinner they get hungry that is the usual evening snacks ka time people have chai and all and in between breakfast and lunch also sometimes i also go, i get uh, hungry and i start eating things so it's like that so uh, they have three meals per day that is like for sure and we also have right breakfast lunch dinner they also have the same kind of thing only quelque fois quelque fois means sometimes okay quelque fois les enfants prennent le goûter aussi les enfants means the children take prend means to take le goûter aussi le goûter is snacks okay so evening snacks that is called le goûter so le, uh, in uh, sometimes the children take snacks aussi aussi means also so sometimes kids take snacks so what kind of snacks also we'll see later okay uh so now let's see what exactly they eat le petit déjeuner le petit déjeuner means uh breakfast underline and write it le petit déjeuner is breakfast and at what time they have 7 a.m to 8 a.m okay petit déjeuner means breakfast and at what time they have 7 a.m to 8 a.m okay and what time we have breakfast we have i personally have it very late i wake up at 10 a.m and uh, i am a very like very bad morning person so don't learn anything from me except french <laughs> so yeah but good if you're having it this time okay it is a very like perfect time to have breakfast sample bowl the cafe noir okay simple bowl bowl means uh, a bowl uh, but they don't have a bowl like what they mean is a simple cup of cafe noir black coffee noir means black and cafe means coffee right so cafe noir means black coffee black coffee is basically coffee powder with hot water so black coffee is like uh, that and there's no milk in that okay so usually people put milk right but they just have it just as it is no sugar also sometimes people put sugar sometimes it is mostly it is not okay and it's a healthy version actually but coffee in general is bad you shouldn't be having because it has caffeine and all that you will learn about it later or they can have cafe au lait so this cafe au lait means cafe with milk lait means milk l i a l i y i t is milk so cafe au lait means cafe uh, coffee with milk so basically normal coffee that indian people have okay 
ou chocolat sometimes they put uh, chocolate also in their coffee okay uh tartan the bur ou crozo okay tartan means tarts so tarts are basically like something like a, i i'm sorry if i'm explaining this in a wrong way but according to me it's like something which is baked and comes out like a biscuit and on top they put some different kinds of cream and all that okay and different flavors of cream okay so that is tarts the bur ou croissant okay uh, so butter tarts or uh, cross croissant croissant whatever that is croissant okay so croissant so le déjeuner le déjeuner is uh, lunch and at what time they have from 11 to 11 am to 15 uh, that is uh, 15 minus 12 3 so between 11 to 12, uh, 3 o'clock they have their uh, déjeuner lunch okay suivant suivant pre pre sur de les lieux de leur travail restaurant okay suivant means often pre means to take okay pre comes from the verb prendre often taken sur les lieux de leur travail restaurant they lieu sur means on in okay on actually sur means on les lieux means places the leur travail restaurant the leur travail restaurant means uh the restaurant uh, where like sometimes in offices they'll have a place where you can have food okay that's not exactly a restaurant but like a cafeteria basically like a canteen every institute or every even school has canteens and even offices have like canteen or some snacking area right so what they're trying to say is often this is this lunch is taken on the place of the work or the restaurant okay canteen u canteen uh, canteen means canteen u panier repa okay or panier repa means panier repa so panier means uh, basket okay and repa means meals so either they will have lunch in the uh, canteen area of their place or uh, the restaurant kind of place they have in their uh, office or they will take their lunch that panier means basket so they take lunch in their basket they take the meals in the basket panier repa that's like one term so you you can buy from there or like we also do that right so when we go to school we take lunch from uh, home with us and or some people don't you know some people don't do that and they instead eat in the cafeteria on the canteen so that is what le goûter ou le thé from 16 to 18 hours that means from 4 to uh six so from four to six is the evening time and that's when they have their snacks u le te u le te means the tea time okay so le snacks or the tea okay so pou les enfants pain chocolat lait okay pain chocolat or lait okay so what they mean is for kids they either have bread or they have chocolate or they have milk okay pou les grand person for the big people okay grand person means big people grand means big person means people so for the big people uh, te te means tea toast okay and petit four okay so or like small small like or dishes like small small snacks petit four le dîner is from 19 to 21 that means uh, 7 a 7 pm to uh, 9 pm okay so from 7 to 9 pm they have their dinner so a repas familial a repas familial means a family meal family meal doesn't mean those offers that you have in like pizza hut and all family offer not that family meal means a uh, a meal where the entire family sits together and eats because like when you're having breakfast you're rushing to your uh, offices and your schools and all that and you know it's the, you won't talk but while at dinner everybody has finished all their works and they're just going to hit bed so before that they'll have a discussion of how the day went so it is a family meal say le repas principal okay it is the uh, principal uh, meal okay that means a very important meal hor dovre pla principal fromage et dessert so what does it have hor dovre so hor dovre means appetizers okay pla principal means the uh, main dish main course main dish pla means just write it down le pla means dish okay 
so it is a principal uh, dish or the main course basically main dish then fromage principal means main actually so yeah fromage i told you as always they have cheese at least once in a day they will have cheese a dessert okay dessert they have the dessert so that was the dinner so dons and repa plui organize that means in a very organized meal okay so when if you see a proper organized meal you will see on per commence avec the des entrees that means one will be able to per comes from the verb pouvoir okay so pouvoir means to be able to so one be one is able to start commence means to start one is able to start avec des entrees with the uh, entree entree is the um, what do you say is the starters i forgot the word for a minute so they start with the starters or appetizers des or uh, des or d'oeuvre okay so just underline write it as appetizers first they start with the starters then they have Uh, so in the starters what they have salad crevet crab etc so first even when you go to a restaurant first they give you papad if you go to an indian restaurant they'll give you papad for free and uh, they'll give you salad uh, sometimes or they'll give you uh, so in france they'll give salad they'll give crevet crevet means shrimp crab means crabs okay etc swivi right so there was a tragedy when i it was taking this lesson I actually recorded the entire thing yesterday but while editing it i realized that one part of the video just stopped recording like it was recorded but the pictures weren't moving basically the visual was stuck and there was some kind of i don't know something happened something went wrong so i have to record that part again but don't worry it's a very small part anyways so let's see i had stopped over here swivi okay so swivi means uh, followed by okay followed it is actually the past tense it's uh, conjugated in the past tense over here so swivi comes from the verb swivir that means to follow so here it is followed it is past tense so it is followed by a u the the pla principal okay a means one u means o of two okay uh, of one or of two pla principal okay so one or two pla principle pla principle means uh, a principal plate uh, pla actually doesn't mean plate pla means le pla you can write it down it's masculine it means dish okay so principal means principal or important something like that main okay so uh, pla principal means main dish or main course so they have so after uh, having the starters it is followed by one or two uh, main dishes okay main courses so main courses means like in indian style if you say those heavy heavy food items like like we have rice right mostly indians have rice and if you are north indian maybe you have something like naan or something those are all very heavy things you don't start with that okay so here they are having what uh, we also have biryani and all that those are very heavy and main dishes right after eating that you are almost done with food And finally you have some dessert and all right anyways uh, so what do they have as their main dish viands poisson uh, avec des accompagnements varié okay so they have meat viands means meat okay poisson means fish so they have meat and fish and it's very heavy for them and especially uh, yeah so when they have it they don't have it just like that obviously we indians put masala and make it into a curry and all they have it avec de accompagnement accompagnement means with various things that accompany it accompagnement vary various accompanying things okay so those can be legume legume means vegetables lentil means uh, lentils lentils uh, are basically the dal and all that so they can have it with anything they can have it with beans or uh, vegetables carrot and they'll just saute it very they'll not use a lot of spices like we use okay we use turmeric and very healthy healthy stuff they don't use much of it they just dry saute it and you have seen right the food is very bland actually and at this point i would like to ask a question what do you think about uh, the india uh, what, what do you think about the french food do you think it is 
better than Indian food or which one do you think is the best? Because I personally feel Indian food is the best and we because we use a lot of good spices, healthy things. But it's okay, we don't want to compare. <laughs> so yeah, just let me know in the comments. It's just for a fun uh, thing, okay? So Pui de Fromage, du Desert, de Ba, et du Café. So Pui means next. Okay, no, Pui means then, okay? So then, de Fromage. I told you they have cheese every time. So definitely they'll have cheese. De Fromage means they'll have cheese. Then du Desert means some dessert. Uh, they ban they have wines also okay so after food they have wines a du cafe so this is the order first they have a starters then they have the main course then they have the cheese very important then they have the dessert or the wine or the uh, as a dessert some people drink coffee also okay so that is it but fr fromage is very important they eat it for sure at least once in a day they will have to eat it that is like a tradition okay so, the vrai four, let's answer with true or false. La France est très connue pour... Uh, okay, there's something missing over here. Just let me know what it is. Something is missing in my book. Uh, for now, I'm just consider it, considering it as fromage. So, La France est très connue pour le fromage. It is very famous for its cheese. Yes, vrai. So, the first thing if you uh, think about France, after refill tower should be cheese. Okay? Because every all the kinds of cheese comes from france only it is originated from france then ilia france source the fromage of france there are 30 sorts of uh, cheeses in france no just read the text carefully behind you'll find 300 types of cheeses in france tous les français prennent le goûter tout means all okay all everyone everyone or uh, every french or all the french people take pren means to take Le goûter. Le goûter is snack. So, every French people take the snacks. No, right? Quelque fois. Only sometimes uh, they take and it's not compulsory. Not all of them take the snacks. So, that is four. Dans un repas organisé, on prend des entrées. So, in a organized meal, on prend des entrées. One takes the uh, starters. So, yes, it is written over here that they start, the, uh, start with the uh, starters. So, that is the a right answer vrai okay then cocher la bonne réponse you have to take the right answer on mange le petit déjeuner at 6 o'clock at 8 a.m or at 9 a.m so at 6 a.m 8 a.m 9 a.m see the timeline it's given 7 to 8 so 7 is not there you can write 8 is the answer okay and repa familial so a, a family meal so it is not goûter snacks it's not the uh, family time Dejeune is lunch. So, obviously, lunch, nobody has it with the family, right? Because most of the time, they're in the office or at uh, work, right? So, dejeune is not the right answer. Dine is the right answer. Because they're all returned from work in the evening and they have a dinner together. Okay? So, that is the family meal. Then, les rep, uh, français boivent. Boivent comes from the verb boire. And it means to drink. Okay, so boire comes from the verb uh, boire comes from the verb boire and learn the conjugation. It means to drink. So the French people drink du café au repas, du thé au repas, de la soupe au repas. So they can drink anything actually, but uh, in this passage I've mentioned café so many times, so I feel café is the right answer. So du café au repas. Okay. Dans un repas organisé, on commence avec. Very easy. In a organized meal, one starts. Commence means to start. Avec means with. So one starts with. It's directly given over here. Dans un repas plus organisé, on peut commencer avec des entrées ou uh, d'or apité. Uh, d'or what? D'or or. Okay. So it is. Uh, Obviously, it is the appetizer. Starters and appetizers basically mean the same thing. So, uh, they start with the appetizers. Nobody starts with a coffee or a dessert. Then this one, I'm not doing it, guys, because it is uh, a grammar topic. And if I do it, I have to explain the entire thing. So, I'll do it in a separate video. The fourth question, répondez aux questions. Quels sont les repas français? Quels sont les repas français? So I'll write the answer here. You have to just write les repas français sont and these uh, highlighted dark, dark top uh, uh, headings you just copy down. Le petit déjeuner, le déjeuner, le goûter et le dîner. I'll write it for you and show you. So les repas français 
సాల్ లో పెతి దోజనే బ్రేక్ఫాస్ట్ లో దోజనే లంచ్ లో గుతే స్నాక్స్ ఏ లో దిని సో డిన్నర్ ఓకే సో నా ఇన్ దిస్ పారాగ్రాఫ్ దే వుడ్ హవ్ గివెన్ ల గుతే ఊ ల తే ఓకే సో మోస్ట్ ప్రిఫరెబ్లీ డోంట్ రైట్ ల తే యాజ్ ఎట్ బికాస్ జస్ట్ బికాస్ ద స్పెల్లింగ్ ఇస్ ఈజీ దిస్ ఈజ్ మోర్ ప్రిఫర్డ్ బై ది టీచర్స్ ఇఫ్ యూ రైట్ దిస్ దిల్ గివ్ యూ ఫుల్ మార్క్స్ ల తే ఈజ్ ఆల్సో రైట్ బట్ దట్ ఈస్ లైక్ టీ టైమ్ బేసిక్లీ గుతే మీన్స్ స్నాక్ టైమ్ లైక్ యూ కెన్ హ్యావ్ ఎనీథింగ్ అవర్ టైమ్ టీ టైమ్ మీన్స్ ఓన్లీ టీ ఈస్ దర్ రైట్ సో రైట్ గ్ల గుతే యాజ్ ది ఆన్సర్ ఓకే then uh second one ka prant on dans a rap up three organize it's a very long answer so i have literally uh put this in brackets okay just see from here on per commence avec until due cafe this is the answer for this okay i don't think i have to write it here it's a very big answer so basically the question is what do what does one take in a organized meal okay so this is the answer they take they start with the entry or uh, sorry they start with the starters then what are there in the starters then they go to the main dish then finally they um, uh, have the cheese and the dessert and all that so this entire paragraph just write it as the answer from here only you can directly write it okay so this was it thank you so much for watching this video and uh, next i'll do a video very soon guys it's taking a lot of time for me to edit and record uh so yeah i'm trying my best anyways please please just stay hold with me just stay put with me don't uh i mean you know unsubscribe from this channel because i'm uploading videos very late i know it's like not a fair answer but uh, i i just thought i should explain my situation also okay so thank you so much take care and i'll see you guys in the next video bye